Welcome to Math We Know. Solve the value of x from this equation. x plus 3 then times x plus 9 is equal to 1672. How can we solve the value of x just from this equation? What's on the left side? It's the multiplication of two terms of x. What's on the right side? It's a very large number, 1672. You have to remember this formula. That is, a plus b, don't forget the bracket, and then times c plus d. This formula is very, very important for us to solve for x. What's the value of it? Expand it. We can do it like this. We can let a then times c plus d first, and then plus b times c plus d. And then you can get a times c, then plus a times d. a times here c, and then plus a times here d. And then is the term to b. Plus b times here c, and then plus b times here the d. The term which is expanded is like this. And now what's on the left side? It is x plus 3, then times x plus 9. Okay, and now we expand it from this formula. x plus 3, then times x plus 9. This x, I use the wrong, yeah? I should use the orange one. So x is a, and here 3 is b, and here the other x is c. This is d. So it's just like this formula. a times c is x times x, x squared, then plus a times d is x times 9 is 9x. Then plus b times c, 3x. And then plus b times d, 3 times 9 is 27. Okay, awesome. x squared plus 9x, then plus 3x. 9x plus 3x is 9 plus 3 is 9 plus 3, then times x. 9 plus 3 is 12, so x squared, then plus 12x, then plus 27. Okay, it's on the left side. What's on the right side? 1672. The left side is just like this, but the right side is, okay, I'll write it first, write it here, and then we pay attention to the right side. It is 1,672. So this number is very large. Yeah, right? So now I'll move it to the left side. Move this to the, right, uh, to the left side. And, and then on the right side, become 0. x squared, then plus 12x. Then plus 27, then minus 1,672. You should be able to calculate it. It's negative 1,645. And the right side is 0. So, the left side, it becomes a term of x. This term, think about it. Can you find the factorization of this term? Then we have to figure out two numbers, which the multiplication of them is negative 1,645, and the sum of them is 12. So according to that, I can think about that one is negative number and the other is a positive number. So I just write this, uh, write it as, because one is a positive number and one is a negative number. So it can write as x minus a number and then times x plus a number. Okay. This is a number. I don't, I don't know the value of it. But now I just know one is a negative number, one is a positive number. Then we have to figure out them, what they are. Okay, I think I will write this as A and this as B. Yeah. Okay, 
and then I think it's more helpful for us to solve it. So from, okay, here. So from their sum, negative a then plus b is twelve, and their multiplication, negative a then times b, it is negative one thousand six hundred forty five. So I do some changes. From this, I can get that b minus a, it is 12, right? And from this, I can get that a times b multiply or divided by negative 1 on the both sides, it is 1,645. So now I have to find out these two numbers. I hope they both can be integral, but we don't know. Now we decompose the prime factors of 1,645. Decompose the prime factors of it. 1,645, it is 5, then times, it divided by 5, what is it? It's 329. And 329 is, uh, I think it can write as 7, then here, the 329, then divided by 7 is, yes, 47. Okay, awesome. We've decomposed it. It is 5 times 7, then, then times 47. They are all prime numbers. Because we've noticed that 5 times 7 is 35, and 47 is 47. 47 minus 35, it is 12, isn't it? So now I have figured out what A and B are. So A is what? A is a 35. And B, B is 47. So here A is 35 and here B is 47. This we can get X1. The first rule is that X, minus, X is equal to 35. And the second rule is that x is equal to negative 47. Don't forget to what? Yes. Give me a like and ring the bell. Subscribe me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.